All right, this is going to be the uh, first video for our SketchUp Pirate Ship that you guys are working on for this week. A um, couple of videos for this series to help you guys get this. This is a pretty in-depth, detailed uh, uh, SketchUp model that you guys are going to make, but you guys are doing really good with your SketchUp designs thus far. Uh, remember, for this one, you do have to turn in the SKP file and make sure that you're doing your customization for your adding your elements to it to, to make it right. So first thing we're gonna do is go down to either our, our app launcher, hopefully you've got it down in here, SketchUp for Schools, or it's the app uh, edu.sketchup.com forward slash app uh, so that you can get to it, you can bookmark it that way as well, either way. Uh, we're gonna go in, gonna create our file. Uh, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a new file. And this file is still going to be in the feet and inches, which is what we're working in today. So we're going to be in our feet and inches. Uh, we're going to go and rename our file right away. The name of this is going to be your name, Ship. So Burke Ship is going to be the name of mine. I hit OK. It's going to bring up the location that I would like to save my file to. It's going to be the same location that you've saved your other SketchUp files to. Once this comes up here, I'm going to find again my SketchUp folder. Well, let's get down here. There's my SketchUp folder. I'm going to select, and there it is. I've saved my file to it. So now my file is saved there, and that's the file that I'm going to attach to this assignment and turn it in. Do not attach an STL file. You're going to attach an SKP, the SketchUp file. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to get rid of Temple. Now, we have been doing our shapes, so we've got where our tools are for everything. So all of these instructions also are in the Google slide deck that's attached to the assignment as well, so you can watch it there. So this first series is going to be the base of the ship. Is what we're, the first video is going to make us the base of the ship. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to select our rectangle tool. Select the rectangle, go to our point of origin. We're going to drag out, and we're going to make specific measurements now. So this is really important for us. So we want our ship to be 8 foot by 6 foot. So we're going to put the number 8 in. The foot symbol, which is the uh, it's the single quote or just uh, without putting, pushing shift, it's going to be the key right next to the enter key. If you hold shift and the key right next to the enter key, that will be inches, which would be your double quote. So we're going to do 8, the single quote comma and then we're going to do six foot six and the single quote and we're going to hit enter and that's going to make us our shape that's eight foot by six foot now you might have trouble with this if your keyboard is set to anything other than us so right here it should say us for the keyboard if your keyboard is by some chance intl or international you would click on this us uh you would go to keyboard and you would change your keyboard from uh, US from international to US so that you would have the right keyboard. Okay, so now we've got our eight foot by six foot square. Oh, I don't want to do that. I'm going to delete that out. I'm going to undo that one. I don't know why I got that one in there. So I'm going to delete that one out. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to select our line tool. Line tool is going to give us a single line, single point of reference. We're going to go to our midpoint on our the front of our pirate ship, and you can notice that it turns to this uh, cayenne or this light blue at the midpoint. Click once to start our line. We're going to move our line out four feet. Four and the single quote next to the enter key. Four feet and hit enter. That's going to give us a four-foot line. From our end point, then, what we're going to do is we've already got it selected, so we're drawing our line. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back to one of these endpoints at the corner of my the front of my ship. I'm gonna draw drop push the button again to draw another line. I'm gonna go back to this front endpoint again and I'm going to click my mouse to start it again. And I'm gonna draw another line that's going to connect to this other line. So remember with SketchUp, it's not a click and hold at this point. It's click release, make your movement, click again. Click release, make your movement, click again. Okay, so now I'm going to go choose my eraser tool. We can make our ship one solid shape. So we want to get rid of these interior lines. So once I've selected my eraser tool, I'm just going to remove these lines. 
And there's our basic uh, of our pirate ship. So now we're going to set up and we're going to raise this up. And this is going to make sense to you guys here as we get further into this. So the first thing that we are going to do is uh, we are going to use the push-pull tool. And we are going to click once to select it. We're going to drag it up. And we're, again, we're going to do exact measurements. So you can see here it's giving me all my two feet, four feet. It's going up and down. I'm going to do 1.5 and the foot symbol. One and a half feet. Hit the enter key. I've got exactly one and a half feet for my pirate ship. Okay. Now what we're going to do is this is going to be some new stuff to us. We're going to move and drag and extend out different parts of the ship. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the select tool. And if we want to select our whole model. So if I click once, I've selected one side. I click twice. I've selected more. I click a third time. I've selected the entire thing. So what I want to do is triple click. One, two, three. And you see how everything is highlighted blue. So that means now I've selected my entire model. I'm not just working on one face. I'm working with the entire model. So now I've got my entire model selected. I'm going to go to the move tool. Click move. Click the move tool once. Now I'm, I've got my model selected. So this is what I'm going to move. What I want to do is go down to the orange point. And I want to click once. And I'm going to move straight up along this blue axis. So it's going to move up along the blue axis. Now this is really important because I could move... Uh, this is going away from me in space, this is coming towards me in space. I want to make sure that I'm moving on the axis. So it's just going straight up and down. And I want to move it three feet. So I'm going to put a three in the foot symbol when I see the on blue axis. And my ship is going to elevate three feet up in the air. And this is going to be real important for us. So now we're going to change our orbit tool so we can rotate and see underneath. Because we're going to work underneath our ship a little bit. And if I select my select tool, I can select off of it. So now I can see that I'm orbiting around underneath my ship. Now what I can do is I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So I'm going to take from the outside edges. I'm going to pinch in. And my ship is. will use the zoom tool here. So I'm going to change to the zoom tool. Pinch in. And I'm going to zoom. Pinch in a little bit. And I'm zooming in. Okay. So now I've got my shape here, and I'm going to select the offset tool. So our offset tool is going to be under with our push-pull. Looks like it's got the little arrow on it. I'm going to offset, go to one of the edges. Remember, the offset basically gives us another border inside our shape. See how I've got our offset tool there? And I'm going to offset by one foot. So one in the foot symbol. I've got a one-foot offset under my shape. Now, this is a new thing that we're going to do here. We're going to drag out the bottom of our pirate ship to make it so that it, it looks like a pirate ship, right? So it's actually going to kind of fold itself out. So the way that we do that is we go back to our move tool. We're going to select the move tool, and we're going to click once on the move tool. Now, if you look at the bottom where it says on our screen, it says pick two points to move, control toggle, uh, copy, alt, toggle, auto fold. We want to do the auto fold. So what we're going to do is we're going to select this inside with the blue dots that we just made here. I'm going to hit the control key once. I've selected it. I'm going to hit the alt key once. And now I'm in auto fold mode. And when I pull my mouse down, my let's do this again. I select it once, control once, alt once. Now I'm in auto fold. Now see how it drags everything straight down and it's dragging on the blue axis. I'm going to drag that down three feet so that my model comes straight down. And now we're going to zoom out just a little bit here. So I'm going to zoom out and get away from it a little bit. Change my orbit here a little bit so that you guys can see this. So this is our basic pirate ship. So this is the base of our pirate ship. So this is going to be the first part of our model. We want to make sure that we save it so that we know we've got it. And this is part one of our pirate ship series.